Yes. Welcome to Success Talk with Noma. Today I'm with Pakamani Moyo. Pakamani, you can introduce yourself and what you do to the viewers. <laughs> okay, uh, my name is Pakamani Moyo. I'm a peer counselor and the director of Friendly Service Delivery Project, which focuses on young people and making healthy institutions more user friendly to young people. Okay, okay, so Pamani, you work a lot with young people and you are an activist, a social and economic justice ambassador, it's in court. So, how can you describe your journey from like 10 years ago when we, when you first joined Zimcode up to now? And of course, your journey being like a success, being coached by success, talk, success coach Noma. <laughs> Okay, uh, what I can say is that um, this journey is always having some obstacles in here and there. But you have to be determined, determined and know what you accept and do you want in terms of uh, your goals and interests in general. When it comes to my work with young people, I can basically say I started mainly focusing on me to say, okay, I want to try to change, but at first I have to change myself change the way you see um, the world and the way how people behave around you but also think about your goals as always so what i can say is that because of no mass coaching and uh, all right okay let's just leave no mass coaching for now okay so you, you are also an activist you see a lot of activism activism but you are also into business as well what kind of business have you been into? Uh, just tell me about the successful ones. The successful ones? Yeah, okay, no even the successful Okay, just tell me about your business. Okay, uh, my business is number one, it's um, cutting and designing. Uh, though I'm not focusing on that currently. And also looking at uh, investing in estate. Uh, maybe, for example, getting a building, renting a building, renting the tenants, and having them paying rent and investing job. Okay, so I understand you've got investments in real estate in South Africa. Okay, so how did you get into that? And being someone who lives in Zimbabwe, how did you manage to invest in South Africa? Uh, nothing much, just having someone who's already there in South Africa, someone that you trust. And I use that person to occupy that space. Okay. So it's all about uh, knowing someone who is in a different space and someone who is willing to do so. Partner. Okay, so what can you say to other young people who want to succeed in this so-called difficult Zimbabwe? What I can say is uh, young people should also remember that uh, Zimbabwe, yes, is difficult here and there, but what are your goals? Remember your goals always and make sure that you set uh, a straight road to say, okay, tomorrow I have to go to Arari, I have to pass to Kuru, I have to do APCT. But also your goal is to reach Arari. Okay. So when you're on the road, you might find policemen, you might find here and there, but also keep it in mind you are going to Arari, you no longer, you are not going to go. Okay. Keep on trying. Okay, so you founded your own organization, it's called FST, right? The organization is called uh, Friendly Service Delivery Project, which is FST. FST, so we, we can follow you on Facebook. You can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on Twitter, yeah. and you can find us at YouTube. Okay, your office is at UPH. Yes. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that has been Paramani Moyo. One of our successful searchers at Zimcode and at Success Talk in Nova. It was a pleasure having you, Pagamani. Thank okay, you very thank much. You very much. Bye and God bless. <laughs> thank you, Melissa. Hi, Bono.